Chris Morley here, and I just wanted to show you a, a demo program on the Linux CNC. It can do NURBS natively, NURB curves, um, through G code directly. Not too many uh, people use it because uh, CAM programs, I don't believe uh, any CAM program can use them natively. Usually they just break it up into little lines. And uh, anyways, I had not seen a program that could could edit it, so I kind of threw something together here. And as you can see on the screen, as I change the control points, the curve changes in real time. So you can just fool around uh, moving the four control points in this case, and you can change the weight of the curves. So you can see they'll they'll move a little bit. Some of them, depending on how you built it, they move differently. Anyways, once you got a shape that you're happy with, um, we're going to transfer it into G-code that we can edit. And I'm going to get rid of the uh, rapids and uh, up the feed rate a little bit. And then I'm going to transfer it to Linux CNC. This is the Silver Dragon in QT VCP going to use it as a demonstration here. As you can see, there's my curve uh, with NURBS. It uses the NURB block here, uh, G5.2 to G5.3, and this describes the NURBS. And we'll just run it. Now, because uh, on the G-code I didn't specify um, a Z position, that's why there's a discrepancy here but uh, that demonstrates the curves. And if you go back over here, get back there somewhere, there it is. And say we wanted to now cut another, another one close to it, say slightly smaller. Send it to G-code again. Get rid of the rapids. I'm getting rid of the rapids. The rapids are there. Rapids are there so that you can see the blue control points just as a reference. The blue control points is is the rapids and basically these points are uh, what defines the nerves. So this these two points here is that there and then the weight controls the curve. Anyways, we'll uh, up the feed rate on that one again too. And we'll send it. And let's run it. Let's see it cut a slightly uh, different curve there. That would probably be uh, nicer if I made this so that you could stack a whole bunch of curbs and at different heights and then I guess conceivably you could cut a uh, two-dimensional or three-dimensional shape uh, you know as you go along anyways something I was fooling around with and I thought I'd just show it to you guys all right have a good one